In the previous video, we explained why network convergence can be a challenge on the IT side. In this video, we'll highlight how convergence can actually happen. To put the convergence idea into focus, let's take a brief look at the growth of the voice over IP industry. Telephony started its life in the analog domain and remained there for a number of years. However, at some point, the realization was made that digitization offered advancements in form and function. The digital phone system was born, and it lived as a subsystem to the data network in a place in a facility. Not long after that, phone system manufacturers started producing mechanisms for placing phone control and audio transfers on the existing network. This did not initially sit well with the IT industry. Phone system providers were requesting that latency-sensitive streaming media be placed on a network, and IT was forced to look at ways in which this traffic can converge with the data traffic they already managed. Ultimately, this convergence led to advancements in both telephony and IT industries. Mechanisms were created on the network side of things that handled traffic isolation and data prioritization. This led to widespread use of VLANs and quality of service techniques. At the time of early VoIP development, IT had to consider using special switches that implemented these new feature sets. But today, several years after VoIP deployments are considered the norm, the question of if a switch supports things like VLANing isn't one that's considered. So how does AVB help the AV industry into the world of network convergence? AV media transfers available today utilize protocols that allow the media to exist on a network, but they're not all designed with the IT industry in mind. They're often proprietary, which means they're not likely developed with priority on convergence, and they're also not well documented from an IT perspective. An IT professional expects that if a problem is encountered on the data transfer on a network, they can call a company like Cisco to gather more information. But Cisco's not interested in supporting the proprietary protocols of the AV industry. But they are interested in an open platform certified for use by a networking standard like IEEE. The IT industry realized the importance of media on the network, so they developed a mechanism that supports it. That mechanism is the AVB standard. AVB also allows the network itself to become media aware. An IT department will care very little about the media content contained in a data stream, but they will be very keen on tracking if that media is performing as expected across the network. Support for AVB in a switch network gives the IT admin the monitoring and control capabilities to make this happen. There's no need to learn the device-specific functions of AV equipment or rely on a proprietary software interface that they simply request information from a switch in a mechanism in which they're used to. AVB also makes this convergence of media onto a data network a defined and documented process. Specific mechanisms are in place to allow media to coexist, and this functionality is offered in an automated fashion. VLANs, quality of service, bandwidth reservations happen right out of the box without any specialized or time-consuming setup. This is perfect for the small to mid-level network deployment, where IT staff is limited. However, AVB switches offer configuration options that allow more complex network deployments to be tailored to meet the specific needs. This can include things like adjustment of bandwidth reservation percentages or implementation of QoS with other network priority schemes. AVB was designed with audio-video convergence in mind, and IT departments are becoming aware of its availability as an IEEE standard. So in the future, when an AV integrator makes the request to converge media and data onto a common network, the process can now be an easy one. In the next video of this series, we'll look at how AVB's time-sensitive network offerings are being incorporated into other industries. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more insights, tutorials, and answers to frequently asked questions.